For the last month, we have traveled from north to south in India. And now we finally reached Mumbai, the city of dreams. We can't wait to explore this mega city. But first, let's embrace the Mumbai local trains. Yay, we are in Mumbai and it's the first time in Mumbai for both of us and we cannot wait to explore this city. And first thing we do is we take the local transport to Bandra. So the plan is first we have to take the metro and then we take the train. And then uh, I think we are end up in Bandra. Local train. I think Mira is really underestimating how crazy the Mumbai local trains are. But for now we are going on a metro which should be quiet but the local train would be a chaos. Okay, so the whole metro station as you can see is empty but now I look inside the metro and already get a bit uh, nerves. The metro was really really fine, it was really not that busy but Adi is making me a bit nervous about the train. He said it's quite crazy but I don't know, I, I first want to see it because now at this point I cannot believe that it's so much more people and busyness as a train. So Vera, you want to go on local so the train? the conclusion is, I will be able to get in, Adi will be stuck somewhere and his back will be somewhere else. So I think for Adi's safety, it's better Adi to take safety? a taxi. <laughs> we found another form of local transport, the local rickshaw. And for Adi, Adi is still a bit of shock about the train, but he feels like he wants to try it. I can it do it right? by myself if yeah. I don't have any camera or so. Yeah, I think later in this video, you will see Adi Taking, uh, taking all the risk of his life to show you something crazy. <laughs> Mumbai is overwhelming. Oh wow, our planning was to go to this uh, Love Mumbai sign, but as soon as we reached there, we were like, how can they drop us out of the rickshaw here? It's, it, it smelled crazy and we had to walk really far. It was just not an area where you wanted to be. So that plan we had to cancel. And now we ended up in a burger place, which looks really promising. But I just did some research and there are 21 million people living in Mumbai. And believe me, Mumbai is small. And seven and a half million people take each day the train. Wow, it's really... Like we have been to Bengaluru, to Delhi, to Patna, but Mumbai is I think a bit level up for all these cities with like business amount of people outside. I must say until now it's pretty clean, but yeah, we'll see what the rest of Mumbai will show us. So look at this, they have this big burgers and they have so many vegetarian options, that is so cool. That's everywhere in India, like everywhere you go, there's just insane amount of vegetarian options. So if you're a vegetarian, you would never miss out. So Mira, let's dig in. I think we're going to have the best burger of our life. There is aioli sauce on it, and I love aioli, and shiitake, you know, the mushroom burger. And I took a bite already, it was so small, but... Love it. Well, the burger was amazing and we changed our entire Mumbai planning somehow when we were eating the burger and now we are going to a really fancy mall because I just have to go to the toilet and there's no toilet here. So, oh yeah, we go to a mall now. <sighs> to the most luxurious viewest mall of India and I think there is where it starts but I really feel I need to go to the toilet. This is the fanciest mall toilet I've ever been to. It was the most luxurious toilet ever and there was this hand dryer and this hand dryer was already high for me and I'm like two times the size of an average Indian woman so I don't know, oh, maybe you can go under as well. No, I don't think so.
I don't know what goes wrong today. We want to go to so many places and just every time we are in the wrong place or the place is just a disaster. Uh, so yeah, we wanted to go to a really cool Apple store. We ended up in a financial district company building. I don't know, we got sent away. But I think we kind of call it a day. And we came to another mall. This one is the Geo World Drive. And this one is a little bit less luxury than the other one, but still really, really pretty. And I think we're going to a really cool supermarket there. This is all I need in a supermarket. Because I just want to have the pink M&M's. Or the green. Or the yellow. Which one do you like, Adi? None. Oh. Coconut water. It's The problem is like we drink way too less water throughout the day. And somehow the water, sometimes they always have a little bit of a weird taste. Sometimes it's just difficult to drink, so... Maybe take one more. <laughs> this is the solution. Take one more, Mila. One a day? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, we can take it in the airport. Yeah. yeah okay. It's the first self-checkout I'm doing here. In India? Yeah. Thank you, <laughs> Sponsor of the brand. Yeah. Cheers. After all that adventure, let's call it a day. Morning from Mumbai. It's another day of exploring, and first we're going to some really special place. And I hope we are on time. We should have been there at eight o'clock. It is eight o'clock now, so we'll be a bit later. Let's, let's see. outside laundry of the world and yeah it is the biggest but I cannot imagine that something like this even exists somewhere else around the world it's just impressive everyone is doing the laundry here and there are like different steps you know they have this lot of water basins and there is some places where they're really scrubbing the laundry they're hanging the laundry it's I've never seen something like this I'm really wondering how many clothes are getting washed here each day. And oh, someone's coming in. It's like crazy hard work and it looks really, I, I think it's really impressive. Really, I've never seen something like this. Your good name, very Mira. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all super dry. Oh, we can sit here? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> now, a lot of things are happening. We, uh, the, the people working here, they are super friendly. And Adi, of course, he speaks Hindi, so he asked a lot of questions. We had a uh, really big conversation, so Adi can tell you later all the facts about this place. But they also offered us chai. So, uh, so, so friendly. And now we're sitting on this table. And they say, sit, sit, you get chai. And... Uh, I feel like this little girl sitting watching. <laughs> when we entered here, there were some people who were asking for money yeah. to get in. And just when we entered, we were feeling really safe because yeah. everybody was really friendly and nobody was really watching or following us. No, you know, so they were just minding their own business. Don't pay these people money. Already in 10 seconds, you see they're not friendly. The oh, he's, he's almost paying for our chai. Oh, I feel so bad. But this one is really nice. Like these uh, people, they all come from the north in the same area where Adi is coming from. So they really feel like, you connected. know, that's even yeah. more connected. Yeah, that's why they tell so many stories. Meanwhile, we're enjoying our chai. Let's tell you some stories about the Dhobiga. Back in the day, all the clothes were being washed with hands. But in the past 10 years, luckily things are changing. Laundry owners have invested in big machines that allow them to wash and dry these clothes within a few hours. But not all the customers need their clothes the same day. So they have got the fresh air drying treatment. If you wonder who these customers are, the clothes washed in Dhobi Ghats are from factory workers, hospitals, hotels, and many other companies in the area. Together, over 100,000 pieces yeah. get washed every day. And of course, 
first we have to visit the gateway of India or is it the gateway of Mumbai? I think there is gateway a discussion. Of India. No, but in the map it's gateway of Mumbai. I'm sure there must be some discussion about that, right? I don't know, let us know in the comments. But it's uh, it's pretty, it's really bright here somehow. It's really busy as well, a lot of people want to go on photo, so I don't think we'll stay long, but there, that is something cool. We actually wanted to stay in this Taj, but when we saw the prices, we quickly changed our mind. I almost convinced Adi, I did still convince him to stay in another crazy hotel. <laughs> so now we're gonna sneak in, in one of these hotels and try not to, this one, this try one. not to do something weird and not get caught. I found the coolest coffee shop ever in this crazy Taj Hotel. I just hope that we can get it. Maybe there are some rules, I don't know. Wow! I thought the prettiest Starbucks is in Japan, in Kyoto, but I think here, this Starbucks in the Taj Mahal, Mumbai, must be the best. So the fanciest Starbucks of our lives? Mine is also really good. Wow. Really nice. So we can officially say we are inside the Hotel Taj in Mumbai. Later, we went for a walk in Kolaba and we were happily surprised by all the amazing buildings in this area. This brings us to the end of a full day of adventures in Mumbai. Tomorrow, we'll go into one of the biggest slums in the world. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.